How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Your net worth is going down to zero Bitcoin. I want to explain why that is because it's actually kind of nuts. We also have some news of Tether buying a significant amount of Bitcoin and some other things that are pretty big that could be happening this week. If you don't mind, hit subscribe. Turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this as soon as I make them. There are also a few links underneath the video in case you want to start trading cryptocurrency on leverage. I actually opened up a long on Solana and I tried to get in around here. I put in a, a buy order and I just barely missed it just by a couple cents here. But we moved into this next symmetrical triangle. I got in right here and then we broke out. Uh, so I'm up 200% an absolutely insane 200% over the last couple hours you can see it right down here uh, so if you want to do this there's a link to Marjex underneath the video there's also a link to coin w as well where you can do the same thing you can trade cryptocurrencies on leverage you can also just buy spot cryptocurrency there as well so definitely check that out uh, there's also no kyc which is really nice because you don't have to give out a bunch of your personal information to start trading so again, links underneath the video, they give you bonuses when you use those links. So let's take a look at what's happening right now. Uh, Solana, looking pretty bullish right here, 204. We did go up to about 210. Seems like that's where we hit resistance, but this will be the highest monthly close, I believe, ever for Solana uh, in terms of market cap. Because it is at a new all-time high for market cap. Bitcoin also is at the highest monthly close ever. And this is also the seventh month in a row that we've had a green candle on Bitcoin, which we have not seen since 2012, which is absolutely nuts. We have a lot of bullish momentum, obviously, for Bitcoin. And it's not stopping. Like, there's just a relentless buying. And you can see that here, too. One of the entities that's been buying a significant amount is Tether. Tether just bought 8,888 Bitcoin. The last buy was three months ago. They bought the same amount. They've said that over time, they're just gonna keep on buying more and more Bitcoin. Now let's do a little math here. $627 million worth of Bitcoin. Last time it was $379 million worth of Bitcoin. What three months does is increase the price by about 70 or 80 percent so they had to buy all they had to pay a lot more for that same eight, uh, eight thousand bitcoin but right now they do hold a significant amount they're one of the largest wallets in the world number seven in terms of bitcoin that they hold they hold about eighty thousand now seventy five thousand bitcoin they're in the profit by three billion dollars they're having absolutely monumental quarters Last quarter, they were more profitable than BlackRock when you account some of their assets moving up in value. And I would not be surprised if it's the same thing this quarter because, uh, yeah, last time they bought was 42,000. Now they're at 30, or they're, they're buying at 70,000. They've held, now they held, what, 70, no, they held 69, 66, there, math, 66 thousand Bitcoin and they moved up thirty thousand dollars they've made like two billion dollars in profit 1.8 billion to two billion in profit just from last quarter on just their Bitcoin and they're printing money at other places too they're buying this with the proceeds from their uh, from just having the Treasury right the Treasury of stable coins that they can go put into US Treasuries right so they have a hundred billion dollars in market cap they go buy, I don't know, probably 80 billion worth of treasuries, keep 20 billion on hand in case people want redemptions, stagger out the treasuries, and then make three, four, five billion dollars a year. And their market cap has been going up. So they're becoming more and more profitable as time goes on, allowing them to buy more and more Bitcoin. So they are one of the people relentlessly buying up Bitcoin right now, along with BlackRock, along with MicroStrategy, along with a handful of other people, Mr. 100. There's so many people buying right now, and it's it's interesting. The, the fact is, a lot of people realize that assets go up in price like real estate and stocks, but Joe Burnett makes a good point. Sentiment will shift from, I'm buying Bitcoin to get rich to, my wealth is melting to zero Bitcoin. I need to buy Bitcoin now very quickly. And you can see that with this chart. And I've shown this chart before, but this is the real estate market in Bitcoin. If you would have bought a house 
just an average house back in 2012, it would have cost you about 60,000 Bitcoin. Now the average house costs you about six Bitcoin. And the prices of houses have gone up. So yeah, if you own a house, you're losing wealth in Bitcoin. If you own uh, other real estate, if you own stocks, everything is trending to zero versus Bitcoin. And that might be kind of a Bitcoiner thing to say, but it's true. Almost every single asset out there underperforms Bitcoin over time. So if you're measuring your net worth in Bitcoin, you might actually be losing net worth even though the market's going up. And it's crazy to think about, but it's true. That's how well Bitcoin performs. So just be careful. Make sure that you have enough. That's something that you can do to counteract this, right? Even if your net worth goes down in Bitcoin overall, but you hold some Bitcoin, that's much better. Right? It's much better because then you still have some flexibility to buy more Bitcoin in case the price of Bitcoin falls. But you don't want to go to zero in an asset that could have a lot of impact on the future, right? You don't want to hold zero. You need to hold something. We do also have just a little reminder here. 13F filings could be coming this week. Now, most of the time they come maybe a month to six weeks out, but they can start to come out this week. And, you know, we're going to have other news like just like this, right? Where some company in crypto announces how much money they've made. They're buying a bunch of Bitcoin. We're going to have other news like that this week, I'm sure. Tomorrow's probably going to be a splashy day. And this week's going to be splashy because it's the first week of the new quarter. Maybe there are going to be some new initiatives. Maybe there's going to be uh, maybe Morgan Stanley starting to buy Bitcoin. Like there's going to be a lot, I think, happening this week. I've talked to some other people in crypto and they think this is probably going to be a pretty volatile week, a pretty good week for crypto. It makes sense, right? We have been trending sideways a while on Bitcoin. Uh, we've been just trending between 60 and 72,000 when you pull up the chart, though, this does look extremely bullish. I mean, we're hitting the same points, give or take, on the upside. You know, sometimes we're hitting 72, 71.5, uh, 71.3, somewhere in there. But we're seeing higher and higher lows. So I would not be surprised if tomorrow or the next day we did see a bit of a breakout especially with some new ETFs possibly being bought up or some of the ETFs being bought up by Morgan Stanley or just like this kind of news coming out too about uh, Tether and other entities. So be on the lookout for that. Could be a pretty fun week. Let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video though. Let me know if you're, if you're buying, if you're accumulating or if you're just sitting, waiting, sitting on your hands, waiting to take some profits towards the top, or if you're just going to hold on forever. Let me know down below in the comment section. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video. Again, you can check out the links to Margex and to CoinW underneath the video. Appreciate it. See you soon.